Now there's a meeting tonight in Ellicott City about a new program that could help homeowners and business owners protect their property. WMAR 2 News Megan Knight is live in old Ellicott City with that story this morning. So Megan, how does this new program work? Well, Christian, it's a grant program that people can apply for for both on Main Street and in the neighborhoods that surround Old Ellicott City. Essentially, Howard County will match up to 50% of the cost of a flood mitigation project with a cap at $5,000. Residential and commercial property owners can apply by downloading an application on the EC Safe and Sound website. Those applications are due by March 29th, and the grant money will be awarded on April 29th. Now, the kind of projects that they are going to be considering include things like flood doors or relocations of HVAC units and new drainage systems, just to name a couple of examples for you. And this is one step in Howard County Executive Calvin Ball's plan to prevent the kind of devastating flooding that we saw back in 2016 and then again in 2018 here in Old Ellicott City. He just unveiled phase one of the Safe and Sound project a couple of weeks ago. That included a new emergency alert system to warn residents as well as business owners about any potential flooding. Ball will actually be in Annapolis today. He's going to be showing support for a bill that's being considered in the House of Delegates that would uh, provide state assistance for things like this flood mitigation assistance program. So if you'd like more information about it, there is that public meeting happening tonight at 7 o'clock at the George Howard Building. If you can't make it to that one, no worries. There's another one that's scheduled for next Thursday, the 28th, same time and same location. We're live in Old Ellicott City. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.